my question too. This question now, I, I hear real things about this question and I am almost ready to be unhappy with this question already. Sharon recently had a home network built with both wired and wireless um, capability to facilitate her new home based business. Alright, cool, Sharon have a home based business. Okay. State the location on the network where each of the following hard devices will be found and describe the function. You see this chippiness here where they say location on the network? How, like, how are you going to give the location on the network of a network interface card? Like, you mean what part of the network the network interface card is located? So, essentially, the network interface card is on the computer. This is where you take the cable and you plug it in, right? That's the network interface card. That's where you plug it in. But why you want the location on network for? It's that's very, very weird. There is no way in the syllabus that kind of telling you to tell you about location of it. They might give you a network diagram and ask you where, you know, where it would be plugged into. And it will plug it into a network interface card. But the location on the network, that's not something that we teach. That's something that you might teach at Cape. But definitely not a C6 student, boy. Definitely not a C6 student. Anyway, the function. So the function of the network interface card is to um um receive the transmission of bits on the network. Right? So the network interface card is to receive the ones and zeros. Right? That's how the computer knows that ones and zeros come in. When the ones and zeros come in, the ones and zeros get to the CPU eventually and processing tick. This here, wireless network adapter, is not even on the syllabus. That on the, like wireless network adapter is not a syllabus thing. It's not. They only have up to network interface card. Nothing on the syllabus says wireless network adapter. Not a thing. But the wireless network adapter that's located on the computer also. Because that's where you get a Wi-Fi signal from. And the function is to receive radio waves sent by the Wi-Fi router. If I was marking CXE still, I would argue this question down to the bone. I'd tell them no. Let car, let car take the mark for location because there's eight marks, two marks for each. I'll, I, I would be like, no, you can't, you, you can't take the mark for location. How is a student going to know the location of a wireless network adapter? First of all, it's not even on the syllabus. Second of all, Location is such a vague term. You, be, you could be like, what is its role? You could say, what's the role? But, yeah. I'm cool. Ah, uh, real good. All right, so let's go. Modem. The location of the modem. The question is, state the location on the network. The modem is located on the network between the ISP and the router that's the technical high level answer do i expect a csec student to know that no i don't i do not expect a csec student to know that i expect them to know how to draw the diagram where the isp connects to the router i mean the isp connects to the modem the modem converts the signals from analog converts analog signals to digital signals signals to digital signals. Right, I expect you to know that. So if it's a many modem converts analog signals to digital signals, cool. And it usually comes from the internet service provider and then it sends the information to the router. Cool. But the location on the network of a modem, I, I can't tell you again. A router. The location on the network of a router after the modem. Because after the modem changes it from analog to digital, it will send it to a router and the router will send it. So the function is to um, direct packets to the appropriate device on the network. That's the function of a router, right? To direct packets to the appropriate device on the uh, thing. Um, after the modem, you can put after the modem or before the switch slash hub. Now, for the last two, the modem and the router, I could see you being having the ability to give you the location of where it is, in a sense, because you know it's between the ISP and the router, because now you're taking the application of a network diagram and explaining it. The last two could be okay, but you see these first two here? The location on the network of a network interface card and a wireless network adapter. 
Ask any location for that. That was wickedness, man. That was real wickedness. But that's just me. I let you know that. I let you know that. I think I think that question was unfair. But but the last two parts, you could have answered that. You could have fight only the last two parts. The first two parts, I don't think you could have find only location very well because you just wouldn't have known because you ain't studied that. But the functions, at least, you'll be able to give the functions for all of them. The location part, not so much. So chances are it's late in the night and you're watching this past paper video hoping that you get the answers to the past paper that you've been looking for for all this time and you're happy that it actually exists on YouTube. Well, don't leave it up to the YouTube algorithm to show you the rest of um, answers. I have an app that's called Learn It by Make It Simple TT and it has all the past paper answers in chronological order for the past 10 years, maybe 12, depending on the time that you're watching this video. It might have a lot more. The app is called Learn It. Go find it, download it, link will be in the description. And if you want to see the PDF with the actual crap of foot handwriting that I have with the answers, so you could actually scroll to the PDF and look at the answers as it was written. Instead of watching the video, hey, you could do that too. Download the app now. All right, back to the answers. All right, the wireless devices are accessing the same internet, but Sharon's desktop computer was unable to access the internet, suggest two instructions that could be given to Sharon to help her troubleshoot the problem. The devices were accessing the internet, but Sharon's desktop computer was unable to access the internet. Wireless devices were accessing the internet, but her desktop computer couldn't access it. Okay, she should check the connection to the NIC network interface card to ensure it is connected securely all right clearly that's it because if the wireless device is connecting that means who desktop alone is isolated so she just click, make sure it's connected properly right um examine the following chart created from data from a spreadsheet oh the spreadsheet question that they went so easy on i uh, like yeah um yeah, all right, so I'll come back to this. Uh, examine the following chart created from data in a spreadsheet. List the steps in the correct order required to create the chart from the data in a spreadsheet. List the steps in the correct order required to create the chart data in a spreadsheet. Key, okay, step one, highlight the data. Two, click insert. Again, this is the same problem because your mileage may vary depending on the program right, that you use. Click insert. Three, choose bar chart. Four, click insert bar chart that's four marks there i guess um but there are many other ways that you could create a chart you could go and click insert chart and then you could put the the ranges of information that you want to choose one time for it to for it to pick it up because you don't have to highlight the information first you could click create the chart and then put the information in so when they say in the correct order, I want to know what is the correct order because I know 100% sure that the syllabus never tells us what the correct order is or what you should answer as the correct order when you have to do one of these questions. But my view is they're probably thinking about Excel because I don't know whoever writes any questions believes that Excel is the, the only way to do things. And... Yeah. Let me just leave it at that now. Okay, state one type of chart which is appropriate to represent the data in the spreadsheet and state how it differs from the one in on page eight. One chart that is appropriate to represent it. Okay, because this data has multiple values inside of it, you can't say a pie chart because a pie chart can represent multiple values. A pie chart could only represent um, two sets of data. So because you have these sets of data here like this, 
the only other chart that you want to choose, you could see a line graph, color line graph will basically go from here to here, to here, to here, to here, to here. And the line graph will follow all the peaks. Yeah, essentially a line graph will follow all the peaks and you can get a line graph. So let's say a line graph. You can see a line graph because it can show multiple multiple books on different lines no as different lines um it differs because it uses a line <laughs> something like that um so you can see a line graph you could also see a um histogram the histogram will basically just turn the bar sideways and point them point them across the screen but to me explaining a histogram is way harder it's very easy to just use a line graph for this if you said histogram and you explain that it will be able to represent each book individually on its own with no vertical horizontal bar then yeah cool you you should get it too it's two marks i don't see any reason why not i don't think yeah i don't think I, that'll be an issue all right, name one type of chart other than those mentioned and describe when it is best used. All right, so they're obviously looking for pie. Pie chart used when you have two sets of data only. Yeah, when you have two sets of data only. Yeah, that's standard stuff there, that's easy. Sharon use the following spreadsheet to create the chart displayed on page 8. Alright, Sharon, that's what you use. Write the formula or function to be. Oh, look, they get smart. They put formula or function this time. Well, at least that's one thing that they did correct. To be inserted in cell B8 to calculate the total number of books sold on Monday. Write the formula or function to be inserted on B8 to calculate the total number of books sold on Monday. Where's B8? B8 is here. So that's equal sum B3 colon B7. That is it? That is it? Eh? That is all the spread. That is the only formula. That is the only function. That... Ladies and gentlemen, they want to kill me here tonight. I want everybody to know that they want to kill me here tonight. They do not want me out here. They do. What is this? <laughs> so, this question spend from part B down. Part C down to create to analyze this graph. Give the steps to power graph in the correct order for four marks. Then ask you what other graph you should use for two marks. Ask you about another graph that you can't use for two marks. And then the actual thing where you had to apply, you know, some brain power to do something in spreadsheets. Two marks. They gave four lines to find the sum. My my students in form three could could do this. I uh, I mean I, I it's not that I'm unhappy that the spreadsheet question was ridiculously easy, but the spreadsheet question was kind of unnecessary. You see this part here with the graph here, that's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. I fully agree with my students now. When they came out and they said the paper was weird, I promise you this paper weird and like it majoring in the minors now like it not really testing your it knowledge it's testing if you know how to write down how to do something practically that's that's concerning though that's concerning 